This is Zach here at TRS. Today we're going to be comparing several of the ballasts that we carry, including the Matsushitas, the Denzos, and both our 5.5 Morimotos and our 3.5 Morimotos. Uh, starting with the Matsushitas, you'll find these under the hoods of many Infinity and Nissans, so their reliability is pretty notorious. Uh, they do have a gel-coated circuit board within them to uh, help combat any sort of uh, moisture that may get inside. However, their casings themselves are not weatherproof, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, they are going to have an incredibly fast startup time in regards to how fast they get the bulb up to uh, full brightness. Moving on to the Denzos, it's a very comparable ballast. Uh, you'll find these in Toyotas and Lexus cars. Uh, they also are going to have an extremely fast startup time or warm-up time for the bulbs. Uh, again, they have a gel-coated circuit board, but the casings are not weatherproofed. Uh, so, those, so those are some things to keep in mind uh, when deciding between the variants there. With the Morimoto versions, uh, we do have a very fast, we consider it a second to the OEM ballast in regards to the warm-up time. Uh, these ballasts are obviously a very slim design, so you have a wide uh, area of applications and uh, mounting op options. The 5.5 versions are going to put out a true 50 watt, and the 3.5 versions are going to put out a true 35 watt, uh, both of which are fully weatherproof with potted internals, so you don't have to worry about any moisture damaging them. Uh, so again, giving you many more options in regards to where you can mount them. Um, they'll also come with the grommet to seal up uh, the headlight housings if necessary, so you don't get any moisture into the housing itself. 